Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your SOLIDWORKS from, let's say, 2014 to 2015. Uh, today is August 14th and uh, SOLIDWORKS 2015 Service Pack 0 just came out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and log into the customer portal. Okay, so now I'm in the customer portal, and if you go to the download section, the first item underneath says download and updates. And we'll just go ahead and find uh, SOLIDWORKS 2015 Service Pack 0 posted yesterday. And you should also uh, keep in mind all these notes in red. These are warnings as far as compatibility. Uh, note that SOLIDWORKS 2015 and later will not install on 32-bit operating system. So just make sure you read through this before you download 2015 and install it. So I'm going to select SOLIDWORKS uh, for Windows 7, Windows 8, 64-bit. Accept the agreement. There's a warning here, and then you can go ahead and select download. Okay, it's finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and open it and run it. Say unzip. And then it brings up this screen. I'm going to choose an individual installation here. And then select next. Here you'll go ahead and enter your serial number. You'll either have a standalone number or a network license number, and this is where you would enter it. And then you can also uh, select any of these items. If you have a serial number for these items, uh, select the checkbox and enter that number. Uh, just remember, some of these products are included in certain packages. For example, if you have a premium license, uh, you might have Workgroup PDM. If you have a professional license, you have Workgroup PDM. So you don't need to select that checkbox. That's already included. This is just for the parts that are um, for the products that are purchased separately. So you can continue and hit Next. Okay, now SolidWorks knows that I have. Um, I have another installation already on this machine. So it's asking if I want to upgrade an existing install that I have on my machine, or do I want to create a new installation. In this case, I'm going to create a new installation, but you might just want to upgrade your current release. So um, you'll have to make that decision. Keep in mind that SOLIDWORKS is not backwards compatible. Uh, you can open the files in a previous release. You can open new files in a previous release, but there is limited capability in that. Uh, you can uh, do a search on uh, previous release interoperability, and um, you can get more details on the compatibility of um, a, a new file in a previous release. You might also check with your vendors and your colleagues and see what version they're running. Uh, it's always a good idea to be running the same release as your colleagues. You can be on different service packs, but you want to be on the same release so that you can work together with your files. In this window, you'll see uh, all the products that you're entitled to based on the selections you made with your serial number. You can click on Change. And let's say, well, I'm not really using flow simulation, so deselect the items you're, you know you're not using. Um, and you can select the items that you are going to use. Uh, just make sure that you have rights to it. You can also expand some of these items to get into the details. So for example, I don't really use scan to 3D, so I might deselect that. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having it, but uh, you can also deselect it just to free up some memory. Okay, let's look at download options. Uh, background downloader, I chose it to uh, do the automatic download. You can change it. So you can go here and see if you want to use the background downloader or not. 
Okay, and then this is where it's going to install the program. Um, and then you have toolbox and whole wizard options. It's going to, by default, install a new toolbox set. However, you can upgrade your existing toolbox folder. So if I go to change, and you'll see you can create a new toolbox folder or you can upgrade. I've got <laughs> SolidWorks Data 7. Um, but yeah, you can upgrade an existing one from this menu. Okay, then you have electrical options if you're using electrical. And now you're ready to download and install, but it's grayed out because you have to accept the terms. So accept the terms, obviously read the fine print here by clicking on license agreement, and then you can download and install. Okay, so I've downloaded and installed SolidWorks 2015 Service Pack 0. And with that, it installed the uh, prereq these two uh, new prerequisites. Um, if you're not familiar with the Microsoft prerequisites, don't worry about it. It's something that gets installed in the background. Um, but now you are ready to use SolidWorks 2015. Thanks for watching this.